Hi there, I'm Jordi, your trainer for this video tutorial. I'm going to explain some of the basic tools within the toolbox of Premiere Pro and how the timeline works. Let me start with a look at the timeline. It exists out of three video and audio tracks, by default. Like in Photoshop, we can have multiple layers. I'm going to add a clip to the timeline now. Double click, set an in and an out point, press comma to insert the clip. This clip currently uses one video and one stereo audio track. To create another track, we can drag the video to an empty space. This will create a fourth available track. Same thing for audio. You can also call up a track menu by right-clicking on the left. You can choose whether to delete this track, delete multiple tracks, add multiple tracks, or give a custom name to the track. When we choose Add Tracks, we have the option to choose how much tracks we want to add. There is an extra option for the audio track to specify whether it's stereo, surround or mono. With the short key S, we can enable or disable snapping within the timeline. As you can see, the button over here is getting active or inactive if we press that key. When snapping is enabled, our clips will snap to each other when dragging them around in the timeline. This is very useful in most cases, but sometimes we would like to disable this to move a clip around without snapping. To zoom in and out in our timeline, we can grab the outsides of the horizontal scroll bar. Look at the time indicators to have an idea of how much you are scaling. Another way to scale is by using a tool from the toolbox. These tools are being used in our timeline to manipulate our clips. Currently the arrow tool is active, as you can see. With the arrow we can just click and use the pointer like we do everywhere. It's that simple. Press the Z key to zoom. And as you can see, the magnifying glass is now active. By clicking in your timeline, you will zoom in. If you hold down the ALT key, the pointer changes from a plus to a minus and that will allow you to zoom out. When you're zoomed in that much, we need to scroll to view our whole edit. Another way to scroll horizontal is by using the HAND tool. Press H and just scrub left and right in your timeline. The last tool I'm going to explain is a razor blade. Press C to make this active. With the razor blade tool you are able to cut a clip into pieces. All the rest of the toolbox is more advanced. This training can be found in my Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 Advanced Training, which will be available around November 2012. Back to the timeline. You can move clips on your timeline anywhere you want. Drag the outside to make the clip longer. In other words, changing the in and out points. You can also select one of the outer points of the clip and press the E key. That will bring the out or the in point to the position of the time ruler. This action is called an extend edit. The last thing I would like to show you is simply right clicking on a clip. This will bring up a menu that gives you various options to that particular clip. One of those options says speed slash duration. This is to speed up or slow down a clip. You can also choose to reverse it. <laughs> 